subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video about RA Solutions. In this one, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to send personalized bulk emails using Microsoft Word. Now, there's a few things I need to show you before I can do this. And what you will have is you'll be able to send lots of emails, personalize them, but send them in one go without, without having to send individual emails to lots of your colleagues or your learners or people or recipients you want to send emails emails to now this is what you need to do so I'm going to use uh, three different programs I'm going to use the Microsoft Outlook app I'm going to use uh, Microsoft Excel and I'm also going to be using Microsoft Word so there's three programs and all three I'll show you how to do this and it's very simple and it's very easy before I continue please like this video please subscribe to my channel please um, share my channel with your friends and family i will be ever so grateful let's move on so step one what you need to do you need to choose which email provider you want the emails to be sent from so what i'm going to be doing because i'm using word i'm going to be using the outlook app not the cloud web-based version of outlook i'm going to be using the Outlook app. So I've got Outlook installed on my computer. So if I click on the search bar here, I can do a search for Outlook like this, and it will open up here. It will show up the Outlook app, and I'll just left click on my mouse, and it will open up hopefully the sign in pop up screen which you see in front of you. So obviously, in here, what you need to do is choose the email address you want to use. Um, to send your emails from so obviously what's one what, what you need to do is type in the email address you want to use to be sending these bulk emails so that's something you need to do I'm not going to do it myself but that's something you need to do so that's step one now the second thing is you need all the information of the people you want to be sending the emails to so I've created a spreadsheet here this spreadsheet has a hundred different people I want to be sending my personalized emails to so these emails will be sent in one go um, but these are the these are the people who I'll be sending the in, in information to so in column A uh, I have the name of the people I'm, I want to be sending the emails to and in column B here are their email addresses now for GDPR and data protection these are all made up names so these are all made up names um, they're not actual people names. I used another software to generate these um, bits of information. This dummy data you see in front of you. Now this spreadsheet is saved in my area. Let me save it one more time. File save as. Um, I want to save it in my area. And I'm going to save it in my desktop. Or on my desktop I should say. There it's saved. So this is saved on my desktop at the moment. Okay, the third thing is I need to compose my email and that's where we use Microsoft Word. So I'll open up Microsoft Word here and here you can see I already have an email composed so you can customize this um, to, to include content you want to include in your email. So I've left a gap here, that's where I want the name to go here. So dear whoever's first name is. So let's go back to the spreadsheet here. So if I want this email to go to Faith, what I will do is populate first name with Faith there. But I'll, I will explain this as I go along. So now you've composed your email, what you need to do is you need to attach this spreadsheet to this Word document. So this Word document is going to read the information from this spreadsheet. And this is how you do this. We use a, a feature in Word called Mail Merge to be able to do this. So what you need to do at the top, you see your ribbon. And in the rub ribbon, you see lots of different options to choose from. So obviously at the moment, I'm in the Home option here. If you scroll to the right side, you need to go to the right until you find mailings here so I found mailings click on mailings now what I need to do is scroll to the left and under the start mail merge option here um, there's a couple of things I need you to do is first of all under the start mail merge bit click on the down arrow and in the down arrow choose email messages 
so now what it does it sort of formats it in an email for you okay as an email format for you so that's not the only thing you need to do so remember start mail merge click on the down arrow choose email messages the next thing we need to do we need to attach the spreadsheet to this word document okay so obviously in the same option start mail merge what you need to do click on the down arrow next to this time select recipients because we want to choose all the recipients we want the email to go to at the moment we want the email to go to that hundred our hundred learners um, obviously which is populated from my spreadsheet so I want to choose that spreadsheet so click on select select recipient click on the arrow and choose this time use an existing list so we've already got the list from the spreadsheet we're going to choose that and we're going to simply find where that spreadsheet has been saved so I'm going to find it here somewhere there it is click on open now when you click on open there it will come up with a pop-up box here asking you which table do you want to select um, do you want to link to this word document so my my spreadsheet only has one worksheet so I want that um, to be selected there and I want to click OK I want to make sure before I click OK that the first row of the data contains the column headers which it does if we go back to the spreadsheet it does here so the first um, row contains the column headers name in that case and email address in that case there so in my word document make sure this checkbox is checked okay then click OK now when you click OK what it's done it's linked my spreadsheet to my word document now what we need to do we need to insert the field we want to go here so because we want it to display the name of the person here we want to insert that field here or that column here uh, field is another word for column um, or a piece of data or a piece yeah piece of information so here just after dear we want to go here in the same option in the ribbon we want to choose from the right and insert fields option here we want to go to insert merge field here click on the arrow and choose the column we want to add so we want to add name so it will add the name column in brackets double brackets here here or double arrows here now we're nearly there okay so the next thing we can do we can preview our results okay so here under preview results here click on preview results and you can see straight away make sure there's a space between dear and the name at the moment there isn't so let me add one so I'm going to click on space so it's spaced out the name from the dear there so because it's previewing it will show the name so dear faith thank you for subscribing to RA solutions I hope you enjoy the content kind regards RA solutions brilliant that's what we want that's our first record from our spreadsheet here so it's displayed the information there hopefully when I click on this arrow here in the word document it will show the next record from this spreadsheet which is now linked so the second one is Yoshio let me just double check my spreadsheet it's certainly in is the third one is Brianna let me double check if the third one is going to be Brianna which it certainly is going to be there so that's brilliant so we know the email is showing up the correct details from this spreadsheet so I can go right to the end of the my of my spreadsheet so dear Venus let me just double check my spreadsheet to show if that was the last record there which it is there brilliant okay go back to the first one now what we simply do is we click on finish and merge here click on the arrow and it will choose it will um, bring up three options edit individual documents print documents or send email messages we want to make it send to send email messages okay so make sure you click on that option there and it will come up with this pop-up here now in this pop-up we want it will ask us who do you want that message to be sent to obviously we want to choose from here we want to choose a column where it says email address the second column from our spreadsheet we want to choose we want it to choose that and we just simply give our email a name so welcome we will type in this occasion to RA solutions like that 
And all it is a case of here, make sure the mail format, you can select HTML, which is fine. Um, it's going to send it as a standard email here. Um, just check the subject line here and just double check there. You've got the email address column selected there. Make sure in terms of the send records, you want everybody to be sent the same e email. Obviously the name bit's going to be changed based on the data. Um, click on all there and once you're happy to send this email you just simply click on OK. Once you click on OK that email will be read and sent to each individual email address which is on your spreadsheet. So once you click on OK that should be done there. So it's going, going away, sending the email look, it's going through all my records, sending the email to every single person on that um, on that email address who had basically each email address here from the spreadsheet it's just sent the email to everybody now you can check whether that email has been sent um, by going into your Outlook app and looking in the sent items to see if the email was sent to each individual now this saves you a lot of time because you're not having to spend ages personalizing your email and sending a hundred different emails which could take you a couple of hours doing that this will save you a lot of time using this method method to send bulk and personalize your emails um, to those individual email contacts the other good thing is for GDPR and data protection they will think they are the only ones who have received the email because they won't see the other email addresses that have been sent the email so as a recipient if I were to receive this email I would think this email has just gone to me um, because the, there will be no other email addresses linked to that email so in terms of GDPR and data protection you will have no issues there so that's a way of sending personalized bulk emails using your Outlook, using Excel, using Microsoft Word. I hope this video has helped you. Please like, subscribe and share.